Today on Drawbly, we are drawing... Moshi. M- m- no, Mushi. Mushi! <laughs> Bugs! <laughs> Mushi Moo. You can join us by sharing your art online using the hashtag Drawbly and click the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. So we are drawing some Mushi, uh, which is Japanese. <laughs> yes. For... Bug. Bug. For insect. Yes. Yes. So we are doing some insects. Yes, and in our house, we have been both looking at a lot of Japanese lately that has ramped up, continued to ramp up. I think we talked about it on previous episodes, how we've been um, using like Wani Kani lately. And I, yeah, I don't know if we've mentioned the name of what we're using, but. Uh, oh, well, okay, well, it's, it's Wani Kani. Well, no, it, like that, I don't. There's very few people that are going to care what the name of the app is. But, um, yeah, Abby's been catching catching up to me. I'm a little bit ahead of her, but... By uh, many years. <laughs> in that you studied Jap- Japanese in Jap- college. I did study Japan Japanese. Japanese. Japano, Jap- Japanonese. 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 Um, so, yeah, I'm drawing a nice, uh, nice mothman here. Very furry, fuzzy moth. Mm-hmm. What are you drawing? I'm drawing an orchid mantis. An orchid mantis. Yes, because as you know, I love praying mantises. Love them. When Abby and I started dating, one of the first things that Abby asked me was, what's your favorite bug hatching? I forget how it came up. It was totally natural in the moment. Totally natural. Totally natural. Totally normal. But I did ask you that. I said, what is your favorite bug hatching? And in my mind, that was a normal segue into talking about my favorite bug hatching. Because you know how sometimes people ask you about something. But they don't care what you think. Because they really are interested in telling you something uh, that's just their own thing? No, I just tell people that my own thing. No, I'm sure it's a subconscious thing. So you might uh, not realize you're doing it. Okay. You might do it without realizing okay. it. Okay. So Abby, what is your favorite bug praying hatching? Praying mantis bug hatchings. <laughs> thank you for asking. <laughs> Why praying mantis bug hatchings? I've um, never seen a praying... This is such a weird thing. It's so cool. Um, <laughs> Why? What? Where have you seen a praying mantis bug be hatched? Growing up. Well, they hatch just in like the up. several, like like a hundred at a time. Oh. Mm-hmm. So there's like uh, like spiders. Like, yeah, a bunch of but them. cute. But cute. But cute. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. What do little baby praying mantis, man, manti? What do they look like? They look like, get this. Get it, get it. Fully I'm... grown praying mantises, but tiny. a centimeter. <laughs> kind of oh, like when so really a tadpole tiny. first metamorphoses into a f- frog and they first like crawl out of the water. Oh. They, we used to watch tadpoles develop every summer, you know, so you would be really familiar with watching the little back legs develop and then their little tails slowly go away and then their mm-hmm. little forearms develop. But when they finally come out, they're so tiny. They sit on the tip of your finger, but they're a perfectly like little formed little frog. Same with praying mantises. Wow. They are perfectly formed and they sit on your finger and you- If you pick them up. If you pick them up, which obviously <laughs> you do. And <laughs> if you blow very gently, I love this about them. Their body remains perfectly still. What? So you're annoying the praying mantis. But man- they turn mantis. their heads slowly to look at you. The what? Yeah, and they look directly at you. Slowly they turn their little heads. Yeah, because fully- you're annoying them. The fully you're grown ones do this too, but I I love that you're about You're being them. very mean to the manti. I, yeah, but yeah. I mean, honestly, they go on to be the biggest like predators of the bug world. Whoa. So they're about to go be mean to every other <laughs> bug. Okay, so, so I, it's fair. Yeah, exactly. So you can be mean to the manta is what bit. you're saying. Also, I don't hurt them. No, of course not. No. And if you're lucky We're enough never. to be around for a praying mantis hatching, it's just a fun morning, fun Where afternoon. Where do you... I, I, I've never... I've seen a praying... I can probably count on one hand the number of praying mantis manti mantises We'd find i've the, seen in my entire life the egg for it is one like satchel looking thing that sits around satchel. a stalk of grass in a field like kind of a wheat stalk some firm sort of stick 
and then you can break that off and take that home with you. <laughs> so hold on, you are, you're dislodging them from their habitat, and you're like, you're mine now. You're coming home with me. It's, well, in this instance, the field behind the house where I grew up. So it wasn't like they were going that far away. All right. And then we would put them right back into that environment. Oh, oh, half the time, we just find them in the backyard yeah. anyway. You take them home, and you just wait for them to hatch. I, I can't believe it. This sounds like animal cruelty. It does. Insect kind of. cruelty. In hindsight, it really does. But, you know, you live and learn, I guess. When we were kids, my sister and I, um, we would catch lightning bugs mm -hmm. or fireflies, as they're known to some. And we would put them in a little wooden box that we had. And then we would just put grass in there because we assumed that everything ate grass. Uh, we, we did that too when we were little. We were convinced that that was what lightning bugs ate. I mean, I have no idea what lightning bugs eat, but any, like, any critter, creature, whatever that we found that we put in this box, whatever it might have been, it was a pretty big, you know, all all purpose uh, uh, friendly creature catcher box. So mm -hmm. whatever we found went in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and we put grass in there. So, you know, <laughs> if we, you know, oh, a bird hurt its wing and we, we found a little baby bird. Oh no. So let's put some grass in there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we um, I mean, at least growing up, I spent a lot of time outside because I was forced to. I don't know if uh, you had this experience growing up. I assume that you did as a Midwesterner. Oh yeah, just get kicked out of the house for the day? Yes. That Not was... like kicked out, but like, oh, play outside. <laughs> yeah, kicked out, you can say kicked yeah. out. Yeah. Even, you know. And then have to be hauled back in later to actually get any work done or school done for the day. Oh yeah, that's right, yes. You were uh, homeschooled. Yeah, it was a tough balance between like us needing to be inside to get work done, but also outside enough not to be just constant nuisances, I guess. Constant, well, Too you many had a massive family. To not be a nuisance, uh, yeah. You have eight siblings, right? Mm -hmm. Nine including you. That mm -hmm. is a massive family. <laughs> it's a lot of people. It is, some might say too many people. No. No? No, <laughs> I like all of them. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I only had the one sister growing up, mm -hmm. so I have I could never imagine what it's like to have that many people yeah, it's, around you all I the time. I can't imagine what it's like to have not that many people around, so... Like, could you ever even go to the restroom without someone knocking on the door, like, you, you like, immediately close... Mm -hmm. You immediately close the door and you're just like... Hey, I need in there too. I don't know if you know this about like motherhood, but like it's notorious for being a situation where you get zero free time. And even like in the bathroom, there will always be people knocking on the door, mom, mom. <laughs> and I know for a fact that was my mom's whole life pretty much oh, no. <laughs> with all of us. Uh, but no, that didn't really happen to me that much. Or I don't know. It wasn't that much of an issue. Um. So gosh, like I just can't even... I can't even imagine what would, like, just how many people, how many kids were in your room? How many kids did you share a room with? Um, at its peak, two. I shared a room with two sisters. That's just... I know, like, I didn't have my own room till I moved out, till I grew up and moved out. That's crazy. It was a nice, I still kind of like, sometimes, you know, we have our guest room, sometimes I'm like... I, I, I almost kind of, because I only got it, for, you know, for a little bit of time here and there. Um, only got what? My own room. Oh. As an adult. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're like... So sometimes I look at our guest room and I'm like, I could make this into my little room here. You absolutely... Um, you know what? You know what? Go for it. I already kind of have. Go for it. My plants is in there. My piano. Uh, the guest bedroom. You, the guest I will let you have that room. You oh, you'll do... let me have it? Yeah, I will let you have it. That's it's already right. got a lot of, I mean, I used a closet in there, so. I, I And by let you have it, I mean, I'm not putting up a fight, you know. I just, <laughs> You're like, no, I need that space for all my other stuff. I need it for my, my ZBrush sculpts. <laughs> no, no, go crazy. I already have. You already have? You don't have a ton of stuff in there. I, well, actually right now we have a ton of stuff in there from the office because we oh had to gosh. get the 
roof redone. Don't, don't even, don't oh even get me started. <laughs> don't even. <laughs> that was exciting. Yes, that is. Some wet walls. Yeah, maybe, maybe a story for another time. You're not ready to talk about it. That's okay. It was a little. We might sound a little more echoey than normal. Oh today, yeah, because we had to. Maybe, maybe not. I'm hoping, hoping not. Because we had to take all the sound dampening supplies out of the office. All the foam, yes. Um, there's pretty, there's a lot less stuff in here right now, and it's mm -hmm. making it very echoey in this rather small, compact room. Yeah. Ah, yes. Good times, good times. Yes. Maybe, maybe in the next episode we can talk more about the horrible situation that's been going on. <laughs> Everything that happened to us. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's actually been. <laughs> it's been. It's been a wild few weeks, hasn't it? It's been a wild. Oh yeah, because on top of you dealing with the office leaking, I got really sick for a while. Yeah, there's and been a lot of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> it's been it's been interesting around here. It has. Mm-hmm. Um, I've realized that m moth, just. So many different pad like so many different uh, patches of value, and um, wow, moth, huh? Yeah, tough stuff. Orchid moth. mantis too, man. Moths like. are cool. I love moths. Mm -hmm. My uh, my sister. I don't know what it is about her neighborhood or her house, but she has moths, like large moths, land on her house all the time. That's so cool. She calls them her little guardian. I love that. They come in guard her home when i was in nursing school my stress reliever just to turn off my brain when i was you know because you're studying so hard all the time um was this little very briefly this game on my phone <laughs> it was truly mindless but you moth just, collector it was literally a moth collecting oh, really? game. <laughs> what was the rarest moth you ever collected Probably a pink elephant moth. Whoa! It was really cool. What is that? What does that mean? Um, it means that it was a, a pink elephant. They were, they were real moths that yeah, you I find know. out in the yeah. world. Yeah, yeah. But what what does that look like? Um, it's very very pink. Um, it's fluffy. It actually, it, you know, it looks a lot like the one you're doing there. Ooh. We might, yeah, we might actually. You, I don't know. That's kind of a close up you've got going on there. So hard to say. Yeah, sure. you got you got to see the full thing to know. Mm-hmm. You, do you have uh, some moth knowledge? Could you um, figure out what moth this is? What I, type of moth? You know, it really might... Cause it's I just, hard to say I just cause Googled around funny. until I found a cool moth. Yeah, no, that, it's hard to say because the lighting's so weird, but that might not be too far off well, from a pink elephant moth. I really like this moth. Mm -hmm. I, th I thought that they were very fun and f fuzzy. And I love fun and fuzzy. It's kind of my, kind of my art style. Fun and fuzzy. You do a good things with fun and fuzzy as an art. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying. Gosh, um, you know, fur is really tough, but the, I wouldn't even say it's like furry. He's just like, he, he's hairy, right? But mm -hmm. <laughs> moths are known to be hairy. He's just like, so, He's so got hairy. a lot of fuzz. He's just all fuzz. Yeah, is the thing. all fuzz all the time. Well, yeah, I just Very like cute, I like form. I like to try to draw form, and he he's just all fluff mm -hmm. and got and got really much solid form mm -hmm. for me to pick out. But it's about trying to break those shapes down, you know. Try to find mm -hmm. the form mm -hmm. where you can. Right, right. Very difficult. I like. I I cannot wait till I can. Just like look at something like this and be like, oh, a moth like that? Oh yeah, that's easy. Mm -hmm. That'll take me like two oh, yeah. seconds. Like I'll just whip it. I know how to go about that. But that's I've drawn to get a to that point. Moths. You have to have drawn some moths, right? So this you is you have to have drawn some fluff. This is the steps. Some fuzz. We're taking the steps to get there. <laughs> <laughs> to get to be. A, I think it would be really fun though to do. Um, very detailed, intricate portraits of moths. That'd be a nice. Yeah, thing. we were talking about um, recently in one of our drawly apps about doing like a multi ep kind of thing where oh, yeah. we should do that. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. And then I can try a new moth. <laughs> oh yeah, like do another one. That'd be cool. Well, maybe not another moth, but something else. Something else that would be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. I would like that. Would you like that? To yeah, we can. To draw? Maybe we can uh, do one of those soon here. Yeah. Just see well, what we should we do? Should we try some faces? 
So, so some, would you want to do it with like something totally new or go back to something we've already done in the past and work more on it? See if we can push it to the next level. Ooh, that is like, a cool idea. Yeah, go back to something you're like, oh, I was just really having such an awesome time working on that and I'd love to actually go back. Or something that you didn't do so awesome on and you're like, mm. I can fix it. I hate to look back. <laughs> I hate to look back. Uh, so, well then in that case, let's not. Let's not look back. Let's keep looking for, we'll never look back. Although it is nice and important to look back uh, on occasion. Mm -hmm. um, we will do something new. We'll do something new and we'll spend maybe two plus eps on one thing and see what we can do with that. Try to push ourselves because we've been doing a lot of quantity, which is where we started. Mm -hmm. But it's important to, uh, you know, flip flop back and forth between quantity and quality. Yeah, absolutely. So let's let's try that. Maybe maybe in our next next one. If not the next one, the one after that. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'm down. Let's see what we can do. Down are you point. wrapping up on your bug, or are you feeling like I'm adding the. The, what I would like to call the, fi the, the, the finishing dodges. The finishing dodges. Oh, very good. That was a horrible accent. That was but, very uh, bad. <laughs> um, it's okay. It's the best I got. Mm -hmm. I am... I don't know. I I never really found myself wow. on this one. Wow, Abby. Um, I never really did. And then, well, get finding. Yeah, I guess. But What do you... Uh, Oh, your, your, yours is really cool. You're getting some fun texture in there. You know what? Yeah, my form I never, is like great. I but... never, you always like do a texture and a background and all this stuff. I never do that. I yet. have to disguise the fact that the artwork itself is, at least something to be desired, you know? Wow. That's how I do that is I get different details in there. Different detail? Yeah, just distract you from how not finished it is. Hmm. Uh, well, I'm not going to draw a finger because that's going to take me years. Mm -hmm. years a finger? Are you kidding me? I, I, <laughs> what are you, Michelangelo? Yeah, absolutely not. Although my last name sounds a little close to Angelo. Oh, that's true. Do you think that ever impacted your journey into the art world? No, not at all. They say there's a they've done studies. People's oh, last I'm... names are sometimes linked to what they pursue in yeah, life. Really? Mm -hmm. I could. I guess I could see that. Mm -hmm. Like if you were named Michelangelo and you were a child and often heard about the great, the late great famous Mike, Michael of Angelos. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. It could be a thing. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm just finishing up my little background here. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you? What do you got cracking? Let's see. What I, are you doing? Does, I'm I'm just doing those like shadow? little background. I don't kind think of he thing. really needs a shadow. Should I give him a shadow? Give him a shadow. You know what? You don't give enough things a shadow. You know, I I don't really. I really don't. I don't know. I feel like there's more. You know what? I'm seeing it all now. I'm seeing where I went wrong with this praying mantis. Where'd you go wrong? Values. There is oh not my contrast Abby, between you my gotta, values. You gotta have the values. There is just It's all one about the values. I tell you this values. all the time and you never listen. Yeah. So I know. So he's just kind of all one very uniform look. Ugh. He's he doesn't gross. look very good. Gosh, gross. But that's not like the focus. It doesn't matter that he doesn't look very good. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. The, yeah, that what, the point is that I like I think the point is to employ different skill sets, different techniques to try to achieve something that I know I can I don't know what I'm saying no um, not at all <laughs> no but I'm let I'm letting you talk I hear it I hear it <laughs> well I'm going to wrap up or call my my mothman complete here okay although um there's not much to write home about no but I'm okay with that yeah. Not everything I do is going to be Michelangelo stuff, you exactly. know? Exactly. Not everything's going to knock it out of the park. I, That's I okay. I'm not going to be Michelangelo every right day. away, guys. No, not every day. Sometimes I might be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that day is not today, for sure. But uh, maybe someday. All right. Well, let me take a look here with what you got. Yeah, sure. Check him out. Check out my moth. Stop. So put the pens down. Test is over. Oh, my gosh. Test is over. Okay, okay. I like this. 
I do. I really like that a lot. Yeah? Yeah, I like your blocking in of the colors a lot. So you did go with the background. I love that you can tell he's on a finger. Um, that's yeah, really cool. finger. Totally can tell. No, but it's just like you've got the color and the values in. The values is where I mm. really am oh. struggling. So Here, hold on. Wait, it. check this out. If you zoom out like this mm -hmm. to like the size of a real moth, you might be like, hey, that's a moth. Some moths are really big. <laughs> But no, you re it, well, it reads really well. <laughs> All right, let me check out yours. What are you doing? Come on, get this out of here. Get that out of there. Oh, he's so fun. He, he, these lines are so full of energy. Yeah, I, I erased a lot of my... I don't know if that was my... intentional. No, but... I did. I left in those leg lines. I erased most of the other lines, uh, uh, but... Ah, uh, your iPad is so hot. I know. I don't know Jeez. why. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Melting my fingers. I'm working so hard on it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You're working so hard. He's fun. He's really cool. Although, like you said, the values are mm -hmm. very similar, mm -hmm. which tends to make him look a little flat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, And I would say that the value is a little similar to the background, which makes it kind of blend in a little yeah not 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 too close though but he's very cool the lines are so full of fun and energy like look at those those are so cool i like this a lot mm -hmm. his eyes are so cool this is yeah. a very cool what what kind of mantis did you say it was an orchid mantis an orchid mantis mm -hmm. that's very cool i like that a lot well, thanks very fun thanks for watching everybody you can join us by sharing your Mushy. Online using the hashtag Drawbly and click the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goodbye. I like that I learned more about what not to do than to do, but I still learned. So that is what learning is. Yeah. Learning is not failure. Not ashamed to share. The, learning is the failure, learning. Abby. Failure oh, is gosh. learning. <laughs> you don't learn by doing things right. You learn by doing things wrong. It's true. It's so true.